So in step 2, we have to design the combination of attributes using orthogonal design. So we have seen, I mean if you, if you just look at back, um, with this uh, step 1, we have given attributes, 3 attributes, okay. Uh, OS operating system is having 3, price is having 5 levels and camera is having 5 levels. So if you go for full factorial design, our uh, uh, we have to calculate uh, full factorial design 3 into 5 into 5 okay so there will be total of 75 combinations so we cannot I mean 75 is a huge number so we cannot go for that such a huge number so we are going for a orthogonal design orthogonal design will give us the um, minimum uh, number of combinations and the most important combinations okay uh, so I am giving the name as orthogonal design and you can type CA factorial design okay um, CA factorial design bracket data is equal to attribute names data which you have already created here with the name of experiment and in type you have to write orthogonal and I am running this code and the orthogonal design is ready so you can also view this by using the command print orthogonal design so you can see here uh, it has given some important different combination first combination is uh, Android less than 10k 5 to 10 megapixel then iOS 10 to 20k 5 to megapixel so these you can use for the survey now how many combination it has given you can check that through uh, structure structure of orthogonal, orthogonal design data so there are uh, 25 observations that means from 75 uh, if we have gone for a full factorial design the different combinations would have come around 75 so using orthogonal design it has given 25 different combinations okay so this is the step 2